good morning welcome to Phil's camping reviews today's video we're going to talk about something that's been assisting me for quite some time on getting those perfect steaks those perfect roasts and that is my Bluetooth thermometer now I own three and I've recently just acquired a new one but we're going to get to that shortly but right now let's start from the first ones that I've purchased going right up to the latest ones that I've got now so most of you used to be aware first one I ever purchased is this one here the meter now it's been really good I did have an issue with it once and they did replace it under warranty this is one of the first ones that they came out this is the earlier technology the couple of problems with this one as I found over the years is that the Bluetooth range on this is very weak particularly when you're using this and it's been cooked inside a oven etc something like an oven a camp oven it really limits the range it's got to the point where the range is less than two meters at times so which which means so what I'm talking about there guys is a range that it connects by Bluetooth to your mobile phone so with these meter you get the meter app you can download the meter app and in there it shows you how to set it up etc but guys this is not what this video is about i'm sure most of you know how to use this if not let me know comment down below and i can do a separate video on showing how to use these apps so this is the first one and then i heard about one aldi came out with a cheap one if I recall right, I only paid about $39.99 for this one from Aldi. Uh, it's got some big, I mean guys, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> what I read on this, they're claiming, there's some big claims on this, right? There's some huge claims on these Aldi ones, so I thought, well, for the sake of $39.99, I thought it's worthwhile uh, giving it a try. But uh, one thing that I like about it, the feature is, is they claim it's got a huge Bluetooth range. Okay, so I'll, I'll basically would be able to cook with this with me phone inside the house and not have any problems and picking up the signal. Now, initially, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to really test this, guys, because it's only ever worked once. That's it, only ever. And even then, I was lucky to get it to work. So is it worth buying? No. Personally, from my experience with these, you... <laughs> like many other things guys you get what you pay for you get what you pay for pay peanuts pay for peanuts and you get peanuts back okay so don't expect you're going to get any quality out of this and to be honest guys this only ever worked once and that was a struggle the big problem i found with this will not charge no matter what i've tried yes i've tried new batteries yes i tried another new battery yes i've cleaned the contacts i made them so shiny the contacts this charging thing is absolutely up to shit garbage and no unfortunately it is not compatible with the meter you will not be able to charge this inside the meter as it is substantially quite a fair bit longer so i don't think you'd be able to charge it with something else and in fact i wouldn't i wouldn't take the chance with that in the meter so what i found is the charger is the big fault with these this thing for the life of me it will not charge so when i got it there was enough charge in it to last one cook and that's all I've done. It's never charged ever since. I've mucked around with this and guys it's hopeless, hopeless. So and I'm not the only one, okay? I'm not the only one. I know other people who own these got the same problem. So it's not a one off. Now which comes to my third one, which is a newly acquired and I'm pretty excited with this 
So I've only just received it last week, so I haven't tested it yet. But it's got some huge claims on it, guys. In fact, let me go get my phone and let's go talk about them. So I had to grab my phone, guys, because this is boasting a lot. Now, what is it? It is <laughs> a meter two plus. All right, so this is the latest version just been released. In fact, most of you probably haven't even heard of this one yet. It's only just recently came up on their website. I managed to get a hold on one, and yes, I paid for this 100% out of my money. That one there was not given to me. So, it's a meter two plus. Now, let's talk about, before guys, before I show you that, let's talk about the meter. One of the issues I found with the meter, which this one slightly overcame, if only it worked, is that, okay. Let me pull this out and I'll show you how these kind of work basically. So you got a Bluetooth thermometer. Okay? So let me focus on there. Alright, turn around that way. So you got a Bluetooth thermometer. So this thermometer takes two re readings. It takes an external reader reading and it takes an internal reading. So what do I mean by that? At the end of the probe here, on the end of my little pinky finger, somewhere in around this vicinity, it takes a reading. So how this works is that, hence why it's got the probe, quite sharp, that you press into your meat, all right? So that takes the internal inside temp of your meat. There's also another probe on the outside that records your external temperature you know, as accurate as can be. I mean, these are really accurate, but just re just be aware that these are usually, with these you've got to insert them up to, there's a little line here. Okay, see that line? That must be inserted inside the meat. So as long as that line is inside the meat, so you've got quite a fair bit left over on the end there. So from that distance away to there, um, it's where it records the external temperature of your meat, your roast, whatever you call them. Now, these have a minimum and a maximum temp that they can handle, okay? I know the maximum temp on the probe here is 100 degrees Celsius. And let me go on to my phone and ask trusty old Google. In fact, let's ask Google now. Hey Google, what is the maximum temperature for the meter probe Bluetooth thermometer? Let's see if it understands me. 527 degrees. But here we are. 527 degrees Fahrenheit is the maximum temperature that that external okay externally it can monitor which is 275 degrees Celsius all right so 275 degrees Celsius so if you want to use this guys if you so if you want to use this the original meter to see your stakes with high heat or flame, it's not advisable because as soon as that probe at the end here reaches above 275 degrees Celsius, the high probability is you're going to damage this. You're going to damage it, okay? Now, you might think, yeah, that sounds like a high temp. Not really, that's not really high. Now, of all the copies that I've seen made of these meters, from what I could find, they all have a much higher temperature range, including this one here. Guys, I don't know what it is. I don't even know if I've got the manual for it in here. It's 
so here it is temp range right there can you see that temp range is 100 degrees Celsius so not a lot no 300 sorry 300 degrees Celsius not a great deal more than a meter but hey it's higher it gives you that bit more safety margin and as you can see it's got a wireless range up to 100 feet now that's under best case environment okay so likely you're going to have this inside your steak inside your roast inside an oven something like that that's surrounded by cast iron stainless steel metal whatever and that's going to drastically reduce that range so week and a half ago browsing the internet well i wasn't browsing the internet week and a half ago this an email popped up with this new generation they claim it's the the smartest meat thermometer out okay is their claims all right so the meter plus let's have a quick look see what it looks like I'm quite excited about this one There it is, in all its glory. Okay, now have a look at it. It is more beefy. And that is the new generation meter two plus bluetooth thermometer let's have a look at it there notice it doesn't have much of the black plus black yeah wrong finger notice it doesn't have that black around the end this here guys this here can handle 500 degrees celsius that's right 500 degrees celsius almost twice the capacity of what the original one here that I'm using. This here, you can use when you're searing your meat. You can use when you're inside a wood-fired pizza oven. If you get flames that lap this, you're not going to damage this. If you accidentally, not monitor, you're cooking in a camp oven or you're cooking on an ice pit, and you've got a flame underneath and you get a flare up and the flame hits your other Bluetooth thermometer. You can you can damage that. No problem. And and believe me guys, if you try to put a claim in after that happens, you will not get you will not get a warranty claim because these guys they can go back on your records and check to see exactly at all the cooks that you've done what temperature these are these on now they tried to use that sneaky technique on me to void my warranty on this one here and in fact they almost got a wave let's have a look at some of the specs here now now smart temp multi-sensor so it's also more accurate it's got Bluetooth 5 coded PHY long range. I've got no idea what that means, guys, but maybe in the future that might be a st something standard where everyone talks about. It's got fast charge. In fact, you can charge this for five minutes and it'll give you a two hour cook time. You can fully charge this in 15 minutes. That's all it takes, 15 minutes this is fully charged yes I agree <laughs> it is 100% waterproof so if you want to cook say a like the other day I cooked a, a pickled pork and there's no way you could use this because it's not waterproof this one here I could stick this in the bag 
pierce it slightly and know I've got no issues if the water goes over the top of this. Each one is precision calibrated. So they're all precision calibrated. In fact, you even get a, a certificate to say it's calibrated. For, so for all you pro chefs out there, absolutely top notch. <laughs> Now, what's interesting about this, remember where I mentioned, let's take this one out again. Remember I mentioned how the meter has got two sensors. Now, what's interesting about this one, remember when I mentioned how the meter, the original one's got the two sensors. You got the one on the end here, that measures your internal and you got the one at the at the other end here or somewhere over here I think I think that's actually it there where it records the temp hence why it's got that little bit of ceramic there it needs that bit of ceramic there to record that external temperature remember that withstands 500 degrees Celsius up to 500 degrees Celsius so if you get a flame up you got no problems when you're searing your steaks your meat and so on so it'll help to get that perfectly cooked steak and we know how important that is but this one has got approximately I believe it is five sensors in it so it records in five places not just two five guys five five how awesome is that five so where are the other three sensors well they're all they're all along here so spaced evenly it could be one there 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 all spaced so there's your mark so that's your mark showing that where you need to insert your stake so it needs to be fully inserted just up to that mark or just slightly past it i like to go slightly past it just to make sure guys and and from here to there, so there's four sensors. So it gives you four areas of the stake in different, okay, in different um, section of the stake, it monitors the temperature. So how cool is that? So we won't delve too much on this guys, this is just going to be a short video, but they're the most points I wanted you to check. So, um, and, and I mean, let's go over a few other features here, waterproof, deep fry, clean it in dishwasher, she can clean it in the dishwasher, fast charging, as I said, uh, five minutes charging would you give you two hours cook time and 15 minute charge is enough to last 12 hours so this this will last 12 hours after 15 minute charge accuracy lab tested uh, sensors are tested to within plus or minus 0 0.1 degrees celsius wireless technology 5.2 coded phy i have no idea what that means but let me assure you when I start using this, I'm going to run some tests to see how far away I can go from this. Flame guard design increases the ambient maximum to 500 degrees Celsius, allowing you to open flame grill, deep fry and high heat sear so you can cook just how you like. And of course you got with your meter app you get alerts you can set it up to go certain alerts so if it goes up to a certain temperature or above a temperature you can set it to alert but it also automatically by default if it gets close when it gets close to that 500 degrees Celsius your phone will alert you just to warn you and then you can go and check and just sort of take the heat down a little bit just to protect it So there you go. Stainless steel, okay, let's have a look at some of the probe specs. So stainless steel construction, 
five internal sensors and one ambient sensor. So there's four sensors that records your internal temperature. Maximum internal temperature limit has also been increased to 105 degrees Celsius. The, the original one is 100 degrees. So there you go guys. If you're in the market for one of these meters, you get what you pay for. This here is going to last you a while. If so if you're not careful with the temperatures when you use these meters, with particularly with the original one, where it's only got the maximum of 275 degrees Celsius on the end of that probe, it doesn't take much to hit that maximum temperature and go beyond, particularly if you're using it out in a camping environment or you're cooking with, with timber on a fire or you're cooking with charcoal, so particularly Gigi charcoal, the hottest of charcoals that you can find, which is available not too far from where I live. So guys, do yourself a favour, go on the website, they're up on the website now guys. I, I have not been given this, I've paid this 100% out of my own money. I'm not making, I'm not doing any promotions for them. I'm not making anything for them. I just like to plug products that I know works really good, guys. So I think this is one of them. And so do yourself a favor, although I haven't tried it as yet, but mate, go and buy through those specs and being the meter brand, I reckon this is going to be tops. So thank you for watching. Till next time, hey, and please subscribe. I was, I had a goal to reach 5,000 subscribers before Christmas, but there's no way I'm going to get that because I'm lucky to get five, six subscribers per week. So that's, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's bizarre, guys. It's bizarre. But remember, if you support my channel, I'm going to keep going with this, these videos. Cheers. Till next time. Bye.